You want to make money by selling photos? Well, here you can get paid per view. Honestly, guys, you get paid per view. Because on this platform, you get paid when your photos are viewed. So people don't have to go and download your photos at all. You get 90 cents per each one of those views. So let's get this straight. You go and you just take photos and you just upload them to Instagram, let's say. And of course, you don't get paid unless you run a theme page, right? But on this website, which is called Clickasnap, you make money when your photos are viewed. Cool, right? Now, if you think that Clickasnap is not such a popular platform, just take a look at this. 3.1 million total visits each month. So we got that out of the way. And if you want to get yourself involved in it, if you want to get paid for your content, just sign up on the website. The process is simple. I'm not going to bore you with that. And what I wanted to tell you, well, you're probably wondering, why would anyone just pay for photos, right? Why they can't just, I don't know, download them from the internet, right? Well, technically, you just can't. Because you have this, you have copyright. And you probably already know copyright is a thing that protects the owners of, like, photos, videos, and all of that, right? So let's take this as an example. So if I wanted to take one picture for my blog or for my YouTube video, video and I want some nature picture, I can just go over to Google, right? I can go over to Google, search for it. And then for example, I don't know, I like this one. And I can just right click on it, save link as or save image as and you think that I can use it anywhere, right? Well, just take a look at this images may be subject to copyright. So what this means is that this picture is owned by someone, okay? Probably by the author, because he went to Iceland, you know, and he took that picture. And now all that you got to do if you want to use this picture, well, you have to buy it. And that's why you can make a lot of money by selling these photos, especially if you like photography. If you have passion for it, well, that's a nice side hustle for anyone into some photos, videos as well. Basically, some stock footage, because this stock footage is like a gold mine today, because everyone is making like Instagram posts, like blog posts, YouTube videos, TikTok. Everyone needs some stock footage in order to monetize their content on YouTube, for example. Let's say that I, for example, wanted to include some of those stock videos on my channel. Well, I can't do that with like, I can go on Pixabay, for example. There are some like free photos and videos. Pixabay, maybe you have probably heard about it. They have a lot of these free photos and videos and you can take these for example because they're royalty free but you know what is the problem with this one well it's just like you can't find anything you know for example if you go too specific you can't find it there is like not a lot of resources you know not a lot of pictures so for example if i just type in i don't know panda eating banana you know i can just do it like that i won't get any of these you know so sorry we couldn't find any matches well Honestly, they're not sorry because just take a look at this. They affiliate for iStock or Shutterstock. And if I just click on this, I will be, of course, redirected to iStock or Shutterstock. And what they basically want to do is that I pay for a subscription, right? But the truth is that if I go to iStock and if I just type in Panda Eating Banana, I'm going to get some results. As you can see, Panda Eating Banana, Carrots, whatever. And you can see that it is possible, you know, you can can't even get illustrations so it is not only for the stock footage you can get some illustrations you know those vector images maybe something that is made in adobe illustrator well that's a whole another story but how can we get monetized on click a snap for example well as i've told you you can just create yourself an account and then start taking these photos or maybe you already have some photos or maybe you can just go and take pictures of nature or something there are like dozens of niches as you can see what type of images are people buying the most of so there's people kids, adults, and everyone in between from every country and culture. So this means you take portraits. Then there's like people working, you know, these images are very popular with businesses, folks working on laptops, writing, speaking, blah, blah, blah. So maybe you can just partner up with your friend, you know, or maybe your sibling, you know, and you take a laptop, you take a camera, and you just make a few photos, and then you share the profits, right? 
Now, I gotta be honest with you because you can get like thousands of dollars in your first week. You will have to like take like dozens of pictures on all of these categories and then just upload them there. On Click a Snap, on Shutterstock as well, you can do it, but on Shutterstock, it goes by download because Shutterstock has subscription fees, you know? I'm gonna talk about that later if you're interested, but you have to like just be patient about it or you just already have some photos which you can already upload on the platforms and then just wait for some profit, you know? Anyways, it can be like good side hustle for you. It can be a part-time job or later down the road, it can even become your full-time job because today content is everything, you know? Everyone is battling for like attention, you know? And this content, these like stock videos, stock photos, they make it or break it, you know? They just need to gather, need to capture the attention from audience because they sell something, you know? They wanna make money as well. So that's all interconnected, you know? You're gonna be a big part of the puzzle in this like content creation world that we live in today. Now there is of course food and a lot of restaurants are gonna buy these. There's like tools, cities, nature and travel is like a really really popular thing but for this of course you will need to travel a lot and that's maybe not for everyone. But all these other ones anyone can do. Now on Shutterstock as you can see if you scroll down all the way down to the bottom you will actually see this. Sell your content. So if if you click on that, you will be redirected to get started with Shutterstock. And of course, you will just create those pictures, submit them on the platform, and of course, you will get paid. But how much money we can get on Shutterstock? We have seen that you can get 90 cents on ClickSnap for each view. And let's say, for example, you get, I don't know, maybe 400 views times 0.9, that can be like $360. Not bad, right? Just taking photos. But on Shutterstock, there's like a different thing. You get like commissions and all of these people that are on Shutterstock they're called contributors you know and they just upload a lot of photos on Shutterstock and then Shutterstock is selling these subscriptions as you can see when you go to pricing and you go to images for example you can see that the least expensive one is $29 per month and of course you get a certain commission based on how much photos your own photos have been downloaded but honestly i did a little bit of a research and shutterstock is not so good as all these other ones so for example iStock is way better but this Toxy and Alami they just kill it and that's like because Toxy and Alami they're just like too expensive you know that's like for like more professional creators that just come and buy that content because the subscription fee on Toxy and Alami that's like enormous that's like when you just like need something really really professional but who knows, maybe you can take those photos. Down the line, you never know. As you can see, if I go over to Stocksy, this is not like you get a subscription. So I don't know, maybe I like this photo, okay? So I click on it and then I can see that if I wanna get X large of this photo, I have to pay $125. If I wanna get a large, $75. If I wanna get medium, it's gonna be $30 and $15 for a smaller version. I think that medium is the most going one. And what I wanted to say that anyone can take these pictures. Anyone can just go and shoot. You just need a bit of a creativity. You know better if I if you just use it all the time, if you like into photography, you know it. You can, for example, go right away on Stocksy and see what other people are doing. And you can just try to replicate these, you know, you can just try to model those. You can, for example, just search through these like most sold ones, you know. There's a lot of possibilities. In my honesty, there's a lot of possibilities. And if you have passion for it, well, just go for it, okay? You will never know if you can do it if you don't try it out. I mean, you've got nothing to lose. If you already, like, take a lot of photos during the day, you've got nothing to lose if you just upload some of your content on all of these websites. But, of course, research is important, okay? Click a snap is good. I have found it recently, but Shutterstock is also good if you want to get those commissions. And, of course, Stocksy 
down the line. Now, there is also an option with Etsy and you can just go and you can just sell your photos so people can just put it on their products, you know? Or what you can do is you can just make these like printable items, you know? So, for example, when someone wants to hang a picture on their wall, you know, there's like a certain category on Etsy which allows that. So you send something which is printable you know so people buy your photo they just go and print that out and they hang it on a wall let me show you for example you can just type in wall art on etsy and you will get a lot of these results so take a look at this these pictures all of these were taken by people you know so this is not like someone has painted it so a lot of these are just like made with the software tools or just taken with their cameras. For example, this one, you know, as you can see, printable wildflower field landscape, you know, $3. And of course, you never know how many of these you can sell in one month, let's say. And of course, one really good thing about Etsy.com is that it has 400, almost half a million total visits each month. And when you compare this to Shutterstock, for example, or even to Click a Snap, there's like huge difference, right? There's like huge difference in terms of how many people go through the website because Etsy.com has a lot of those things and they just have more traffic so it's a better place to sell anything at all and then you can just get creative you can just I don't know paste your photos on t-shirts you can just go with print on demand there are many ways but you need to start somewhere okay just start with something like smaller and then you can scale it later it's not gonna be a problem with you just as you gain experience down the road okay so apply yourself on some of these websites go to etsy go see what's what what is working for you and you will succeed i believe in you i'll catch you